when you hear someone say, the more the merrier, the one thing you know that they're not talking about is germs. Seriously, one or two germs, no biggie. But when those little buggers get together and have a party, there just might be an issue. Well, now your kitchen's Grand Central Station of Germ Habitats is getting an upgrade as two designing women take the plunge to fix your sponge. Here's Allie Ward to explain. Your kitchen may be so clean it glistens, but I'll bet you still have one significant outlier when it comes to cleanliness, your sponge. If you look at the kitchen, everything today is beautiful and performs so well, and yet there is a major void. There's one product that's in front and center that is absolutely disgusting, smells, and everybody has a hate affair with their sponge. And we went on a journey and a crusade to basically figure out how to create a sponge you could actually love. This is Linda Sawyer, and this is Allison Matz, and together they invented a smart sponge. Linda's really the, the clean freak of the group. I'm less of a clean freak. I'm a little bit of a, a neat freak, um, but I am a self-professed spongophobe. In addition to finding the right materials to make their sponge inherently hygienic, they also have incorporated the clean aesthetic of Swedish design. I met up with Linda and Allison in New York to find out more about their Skura style sponges. And listen up, because what you're about to learn about your kitchen sponge will get your attention. So what are some of the defining features of your sponge? So our sponge is made of a patented polyurethane foam, which is different than traditional kitchen sponges, which are made of cellulose. There's an antimicrobial agent that inhibits the growth of odor-causing bacteria, mold, and mildew. So, you know, after using the sponge, you don't have to kind of smell your hands, which is really disgusting. <laughs> How did you know I did that? I know, it's, we all, we've all lived with that. The scouring surface of the sponge is made of acrylic so that food particles will rinse off more easily, helping to keep bacteria at bay. We know way too much about sponges, but um, <laughs> the average kitchen sponge that people have is 200,000 times dirtier than a toilet seat. Oh, wait, allow me to digest that. Wait, <laughs> how much dirtier than a toilet seat? 200,000 times dirtier. Since almost everyone is guilty of keeping dirty sponges around for too long, these sponges tell you when it's time for a change. When the monogram fades, throw it away and replace it. I see you guys have cringeworthy <gasps> sponges. Oh no. I'm <laughs> touching don't, these. Don't touch it. And so how much dirtier is one of these bad boys compared to yours? After a month, that sponge will have about 99.9% .9 more or likelihood of E. coli presence than our sponge. Oh, can I put them away now? Yes, yes oh, please, please do. do. <laughs> Friends since the second grade, Linda and Allison are unique in that they have a long-term friendship built into their business partnership. Linda and Allison have no scientific background, but both are professionals who left high-powered careers in advertising and media to make a clean break in the name of innovation. They whipped up a sticky, cheesy omelet just so I could use the sponge to wash the dishes. The omelet's done. Okay, good. You guys have dirty dishes for me? Yes, we're ready. Do. Okay, I'm gonna use the sponge. I'm gonna see how this thing works. So we'll do the scouring side. Mm -hmm. These two change makers have taken an everyday item, which has seen little innovation since about the 1940s, and made a fresh, new kind of sponge that makes you think, while sending germs down the sink. <laughs> 